Commander, everyone else is with the fleet en route, save the Empress, of course. She's back on Dromund Cass. I'll connect us. Commander, I'm pleased to see you again. I am gratified that my Dark Council has worked alongside you so efficiently. Such productive cooperation is crucial to our Empire's future. Your successes against the Republic reinforcements have all but guaranteed our victory on Corellia. But we must not become overconfident. Walk me through your plan for the battle. Given that the enemy is unaware of the details of our strategy, their fleets will assume a flexible defensive formation in geosynchronous orbit above the Meridian Complex shipyard. Contrary to their expectations, I will take most of our ships to the far side of Corellia, forcing at least some of their vessels to break formation and engage us. And how will you ensure that the enemy chases you? Indiscriminate bombardment of the planet's surface. Cities, industrial centers, resource caches. We will be impossible to ignore. We cannot massacre civilians purely as a diversion. We certainly can. Regardless, civilians are not a resource our enemy is short on. But Corellia is full of others they can hardly afford to lose. Focus your attacks accordingly. As you wish. We will target industrial facilities, resource caches and other strategic assets to draw the enemy away from the shipyard. With their formation broken, our technological advantages will allow us to punch through the remaining defenders and conduct a surface assault on the complex. The last of our dreadnoughts equipped with isotope 5 reactors will escort the ground assault force through the enemy's blockade. Meanwhile, the silencers commanded by Moff Pyron will destroy any Republic capital ships that attempt to interfere. Tell me more about these silencers. Harrower Dreadnoughts, modified to carry state-of-the-art mega-laser main cannons. They can destroy enemy capital ships in a single shot. Once we reach the planet's surface, we will attack the Meridian Complex from multiple directions, seize its control center, and disable the shields protecting it from orbital bombardment. From there, our ships reduce the complex to slag, and the Republic's best hope for victory crumbles into dust. An impressive and well-conceived plan. But what role will the Alliance and its incomparable commander play? The silencers are vulnerable to starfighter attack. With the Alliance fleet to escort them, that risk is all but nullified. As for the commander, I would welcome such a deadly ally in my surface attack group. I'm ready to launch right away. Rendezvous with these coordinates. Our attack begins as soon as you arrive, Commander. Let our enemies remember why they fear the power of the Sith Empire. Let the entire galaxy know our strength. My boys have a ship fueled and ready for us. They're practically drooling. Most of them have never seen a battle this big. They'll be competing for the most kills. Care to join the pool? Winner takes any interesting gear or other goodies we manage to plunder on the way out. I'm not interested. Suit yourself. Shall we? Commander, proceed to these coordinates to join our assault formation. Our ships are in position and report ready. Let the battle begin. Proceeding with bombardment, targeting infrastructure and industrial objectives only. Silencer Group, move to your designated firing points. Surface Attack Group, advance. Isotope 5 generators at maximum output. Engines at 322%, shields at 563%. Energy levels like that, flying this close together? Our little ships will never even show up on their scopes. 
We're all but invisible. They're concentrating fire! Trying to pick us off one by one! Ignore them. Maintain course and speed. Shields! Failing! We have breached the Republic's defensive line. All ships, break formation. Scatter! They can't shoot at us now. If they miss, they'll hit their own people on the surface. Malgus and Krovos have outdone themselves. Let's hope the rest goes so smooth. Surface attack group, proceed to your landing coordinates. The final phase of the battle is about to begin. There are more ground cannons than anticipated. All shuttles proceed to secondary drop zones. Squad, you're watching our backs. Republic's gonna send everyone they've got to reinforce this shipyard, so be ready to rack up some big kill counts. Contest starts now. A point for every kill. Officers are five, vehicles and Jedi count for ten. And if you die, you're out. So don't get reckless out there. Understood? We won't let you down, Major. You never do. Hop to it. Ready, Commander? You have an interesting way of motivating your troops. Confidence will keep a squad alive better than any armor or weapon. Gotta win in your head before you can win for real. Let's start some trouble. Artillery incoming! Push up! We need to get off this beach. We're sitting Banthus out here. Wish we could hit Axial Park while we're here. Bet I could find some nice cuttings for my garden. Moving out. Ready. You're approaching the main Republic defensive line. Be prepared for heavy resistance.
close one there. You're near the industrial monorail that services the spire. If it is still operational, it will be the fastest way inside. Hands up! Don't shoot! I'm a pacifist. Who are you? I'm... Theron Sedrax. Obviously. Preeminent expert in exotechnology and senior design engineer for this facility. Theron, huh? Don't you have a buddy named Theron? Another Theron? He probably spells it the stupid way. Presumably, you're here to seize control of the facility? Or perhaps to sabotage the defensive systems? Good guess. You're smarter than you seem. I can assure you it would be impossible to seem as smart as I am. I would love to make a grand speech about never giving up and choosing death over dishonor, but the truth is the situation is out of my hands. All defensive systems, shields, anti-aircraft guns and so on, have been transferred to the secondary control station near the top of the spire. All of this equipment is useless now. So, there's really nothing to be accomplished here, and nothing I can help you with. Commander. Apparently the shield controls have been transferred to another control center, higher up in the spire. Is that so? None of the computers will respond, my lord. And I'm seeing some lightsaber burns over here. That was the Jedi, Tau Adair. She's commanding the last of the facility's guards. 
She severed the connection as soon as control was transferred, then headed upstairs. Then we have our target. Commander, on Osus, we united our strength to crush the Jedi who tried to oppose the Empire. It's time we repeated that triumph. Join me, and together we will win a victory for the Empire that will change the course of the galaxy forever. I've met this Jedi before, on Mech Shah. I'm going to enjoy taking her down. Good. Major, hold this position, no matter the cost. Yes, my lord. And what about him? The scientist who built this facility could be very useful. We should keep him alive. Whatever you say. I should have stayed on Nar Shaddaa. We'll keep you covered. Good luck up there. Hold it! Oh no. Steady. Fear is a deadly weapon, but only if you let them have it. I was hoping we'd run into each other again, Jedi. We've got your back, Tal! Fools. Not one of you could hope to defeat us. You're not fighting one of us. You're fighting all of us. Then you will all die. You are beaten. Your shipyard will be obliterated. Your Republic will crumble. And your fellow Jedi will be hunted to extinction. Your destruction is inevitable. As inevitable as gravity! Structural damage detected. Evacuation protocols recommended. I'm disabling the shields now. Warning. Defensive shields have been disabled. Warning. Raven to command. The shields are down. We're evacuating now. All ships, target the Meridian Complex. Fire! Objective complete. All forces regroup and evacuate to RV point Orek. Commander, allow me to congratulate you on a job well done. Your victory on Corellia is an incomparable testament to your value as an ally of the Empire. Rumors suggest great things are soon to come for you. Do enjoy. Any rewards are well earned. What kind of rumors? What are you talking about? I can say no more. Farewell, Commander.
It was skillfully done, to be sure. You truly embody the finest aspects of the Sith Doctrine. Coordination and focus gave us this victory. When we fight as one united empire, we cannot fail. Do not forget, our unity extended beyond even our own empire. Commander, you are a welcome sight. Do join us. With their shipyard destroyed, the Republic has already retreated from countless worlds. We've been watching in real time. Terribly entertaining. I will develop plans to extend our lines and claim the most valuable of these territories in a matter of weeks. A shame that Malgus couldn't enjoy the fruits of his efforts. His recovery will take some time, but rest assured he will return to the fold soon enough. Wonderful. Victory over our ancient enemies grows closer by the minute. What is your plan moving forward? We should speak in private, Commander. The rest of you are dismissed. Despite our victory, I find that the Dark Council is best used for administrative purposes, and not to conducting critical wartime activities. The Empire needs an organization capable of rapid, decisive action, operating outside the Dark Council's purview. A group answering directly to me. My predecessor had such a group, The Hand, though, as you know, its members were insane fanatics. I will construct my own hand, formed of the Empire's best and most loyal frontline personnel. My first choice would be to recruit the Hand's initial ranks from your Alliance, to have Odessan officially join the Empire and your members become full citizens. In fact, I would have you take up the mantle of Empire's Wrath and lead this organization in destroying all who challenge us. Of course, you may forego all of this and maintain your Alliance's independence, if you choose. I would still have you working directly with my hand, rather than the Dark Council. The choice is yours. Will you return to the Empire, or remain the Alliance commander? I've worked hard to build my Alliance. I want to keep it as it is. So be it, Commander. I had hoped that Malgus might act as our liaison going forward, but in his absence, I will find another suitable candidate. We will contact you very soon, Commander. For now, farewell. They minimize the damage this time, but what about the next time? I can't see the future, Theron. Well, not often, at any rate. Not exactly reassuring. But I'll admit, it could have been a lot worse. I said I'd give him a shot, so I'll give him a shot. I confess, being fully funded by the Empire might have made our daily operations easier. But I have no qualms with our current arrangement. I'm glad we're keeping some distance personally. There's supposedly a pretty crazy party happening up in the officer's lounge. I can behave, if you want to go. <coughs> Behaving is overrated. Hey, thanks again for finding me that bottle. Of course. If you need anyone to share it, count on it. Mind if I borrow her a minute? We can catch up later. Pretty crazy stuff, huh? Osus wasn't even that long ago. We've already made it through so much. That's war, I suppose. Still, most grunts aren't lucky enough to work with the deadliest fighter in the entire galaxy. Which reminds me, too bad you didn't join the bet. You'd have won for sure. Killing isn't something to be proud of.
You are odd for a Sith. I actually came to talk about something else. Back on Corellia, I didn't actually make it out with the rest of the shuttles. Got caught under some falling debris and all the chaos. I wouldn't have made it out at all if they hadn't lent me a hand. Who? Your predecessor. You're the one who tried to kill me on Mech Shah. Don't take it personally. It was a test. Nothing more. A test you actually passed. What are you talking about? I am Lord Scourge, once a loyal servant of the Empire. Kira Carson, Jedi Knight. Not thrilled to be here. All three of us have fought the same enemy. The former Sith Emperor, Tenebrae, Vitiate, Valkorion, whatever you wish to call him. We know he was once a part of you. And we both felt his destruction, but... He has always been a master of deceit. We had to be sure that he wasn't lingering in your mind, hidden, waiting to come out only in the most dire circumstances. Now, we are sure. I don't see Jedi and Sith cooperating very often outside of my alliance. How did you end up working together? That is a very long story. We can't risk saying more here. Let's travel to your base on Odessan. It should be safe for us to talk there. About what? The final, gruesome weapon of Tenebrae. What a mess. I have removed all compromised components. Where shall we begin repairs? Checking the failsafe is always first. Empress Asina had us double the explosive charges after the Osis mission. It was a real pain to hook up. Yes. I examined the device after removing it. Highly complex. You removed it? What are you thinking? It was rendered inoperable due to damage. Replacement is required. Interestingly... It was the only damage not caused by crushing impacts. The exterior perimeter was actually cut by a high heat implement. Oh no. Give me the droid. And a ship. <sighs> We're here. Now tell me what this is all about. As I told you on Viken Space Dock, Tenebrae's last gruesome weapon. He sought immortality, but only his endless spite survives now. Like you, I was once his wrath. And like you, I learned of his true nature and plotted his downfall. For centuries. Ultimately, I saw what had to be done, and betrayed my empire in order to destroy its creator. That is how I came to fight alongside Kira. We fought the Emperor's servants constantly for years. We even thought we'd beaten him alongside my master. Then Yavin 4 happened. And Valkorion. I received guidance from an old ally. Instead of seeking out our enemy in his current shell, you, as it turns out, we sought a different target. Tenebrae hid his original body where no one could harm it. As long as that body remained in stasis, the galaxy's greatest evil could never truly be killed. Unless we destroyed Tenebrae? The fight against Valkorion would never really be over. Since Valkorion is gone, I assume you succeeded. We did. As we later learned, we destroyed his first body just as you purged the last vestige of his twisted spirit from your mind. That is when his final weapon was unleashed. A Sith ritual, carved into his very flesh, unleashed an ancient plague from every molecule of his decaying corpse. We were both knocked out cold, comatose for more than a year. Satil Shan was the one who finally pulled us out of that nightmare, and started a new one. Like you, 
Kira and I have both been vessels for a portion of Tenebrae's power. It acted as a sort of vaccine. But Satil had no such protection, nor did any of her followers. Within days, they were all laid low, trapped in a nightmarish slumber. In helping us, they are knowingly doomed themselves. This ritual, what can you tell me about it? Nothing. We lost consciousness even as we felt it taking shape. The infection is worsening. There is a darkness growing among the afflicted. We can feel their minds connecting, communicating. We're afraid they might be... merging somehow. Merging into what? Another Valkorian? Is this plague bringing him back somehow? It's too early to make that conclusion. Whatever it is, it is immensely dangerous. We must stop it. How? We loaded Satil and all of her followers onto a transport to keep them quarantined, along with a few medroids to tend to them. The transport is programmed to fly a random course through unsettled sectors of the Outer Rim, all weeks away from civilization. I can send a signal to alter the course, bring it to another empty system that's closer so that we can meet it in a shuttle. We board the ship, and connect our minds with yours through the Force. Together, we will face this entity and purge it from existence. And if we cannot purge it, then we destroy the transport and hope we've ended the old monster's schemes forever. Valkorion was in my mind for a long time. What if connecting with this entity makes it stronger instead of weaker? It won't. That is why we tested you as we did. To make sure that no trace of him remained. You will not strengthen this entity, only destroy it. It's going to take a while for the transport to come back into range. Then we should stay here until it does. If you require any assistance in the meantime, don't hesitate to ask. Not so fast. I'm not fighting the Republic or the Jedi, so if that's what you want, definitely hesitate to ask. Ignore her. If necessary, I can slay enough of your enemies for both of us. Ugh. She grows on you. Eventually. <laughs>